Boykin, shotgun, slings it wide open. Inside the 40-yard line is Josh Boyce. Boyce is the TCU career leader in touchdown receptions with 20. That is now 29 straight games that Boyce has made a reception. 52% conversions they're giving up. That's 117th in the country, and it's because of defense like that. Just all the time in the world for the quarterback, lots of cushion for the wide receiver, and it's the best wide receiver that TCU has, Josh Boyce. Just no pressure by the Mountaineers' defense. The four, and they got it away. Low snap, Boykin stands pressured. Oh, beautiful catch. They're going to rule it complete. 24-yard line, and how about the stretch of Josh Boyce? Sternum, and he delivers a great ball on the outside. Oh, look at this camera right on top of it. Boyce, second reception. He had seven grabs and then lost to Oklahoma State last week for 74 yards. All in that situation. Penalty puts the ball for TCU at the 30-yard line. Up top, man coverage wide open. On the hands, touchdown, Boyce. I mean, all the way. I've never seen it. Yeah, sensation. Second down, six. Boykin, far side, pitch and catch, little nifty move. Boyce having a nice first half. Three straight punts to start this game. Now West Virginia up by seven. Back in the air, ball tipped and complete. As Boykin went over the top to Josh Boyce, who really owned the first quarter for TCU. TCU with the football down three. 6-12 to play in the third. Boykin goes back to work. Throws, deep ball up top. His toss, in fact, it's littered with yellow. Boyce, the intended receiver, and he got tied up with Pat Miller. There's fouls against both teams. Pass interference on the offense number 82. Pass interference on the defense number six. Penalties offset. <laughs> First down. I wondered why there was such a discussion going on. If both of them had the same penalty, they would have just run right in and it would have been called. But you're going to see Boyce. You see his right arm. That's the grab of the jersey that draws one penalty. And then at the end, when Miller doesn't allow Boyce to get back to the football, that's where the second penalty comes in. Correct call. That's a terrific job of officiating by this Big 12 crew to talk about it and get the call right and replay the down. Yeah, let's do it again. First and 10 at the 26 yard line. West Virginia creeping up, showing blitz. Boykin in the pocket, throws again. Deep ball, same pass. And it's incomplete. Boyce, the intended Boyce receiver. They decided to try it not once, but twice. Used as a teaching tool for a very long time. All right, Mike Pereira, thanks for that great insight. As we go back to action, Boykin, oh, oh, he got the ball out in the hands. Boyce breaks it inside the 10-yard line. Boyce has been a big-time receiver in this in this ball game and bailed out Boykin on that throw. The thing that impresses me about Josh Boyce is his strength. You watch the strength going up in the air, then coming back down, the balance to stay on his feet, and the strength to break a couple of tackles. Trevon Boykins. Play clock to four. Play action. Boykin over the top. Oh, just out the fingertips. Oh, oh. Uh, Oklahoma State game, but he's played terrific. Slings it down, fielding traffic, up goes. Nope, they're going to wave it incomplete on the hands of Boyce. And he had possession, but not long enough. It's incomplete at the 30-yard line. Petros, it's pretty clear that for a young guy, he's locked in with Josh Boyce because Boyce has been in some traffic, and he still tried to go there. Yeah, he tries to fit it in a window, and Boyce has pretty strong hands. You know, you're talking about Boykin's running ability. And this further emboldens Joe DeForest to come after the quarterback. Loss of nine. In the end zone is Boykin. Sets his feet. Out of the pocket. Sling shots it downfield. Has a man at the 40. Big room to rumble. It's Boyce 30. 25 20. Boyce, goodbye. Touchdown, TCU. Here's Boyce, and he gets completely left free. Pushed out of bounds. The hat was on the field for him going out of bounds, but they find him behind the defense. And he goes all the way in for the touchdown. 94 yards. Let's take a look back at that touchdown, and it starts with Trevon Boykin and his ability to escape pressure. You see the guy at his feet, he escapes and gets out. Now right here, this is when both the safety 
and the corner start worrying about Trevon Boykin as a runner. And at that point, Boyce is left wide open on the sideline. And that missed assignment causes Boyce to have green grass in front of him to the end zone. Just a blown coverage by West Virginia's defense. Cecil Level. Gary Patterson rolling the dice. Here is the second overtime. Boykin slingshots it low. Did he catch it? Yes! Josh Boyce! Joel, I, I wanted to wait. The official right on the spot put his hands up. And now the review's underway. Did it take a bounce? Let's take a look. Boykin rolling to his right, throwing to Josh Boyce. The ball is low, tough to see. Looks like it shifts in his hand, in that right hand. It would have been tough for him to catch it in his bicep like that. This will be a better look. Hands underneath the ball. Oh, that's tough. Boy, that's tough to see. Craig, there's not enough to overturn that. How about this angle? Did he trap it? Looked now, like it hit off the that, forearm. On that angle, that's tough. After review, the ruling on the field stands as a completed catch and the two-point conversion. The game is over.